okay guys so now that you know that how do we generate an access token and send it back to the client whenever he is registering as a new user or he is logging as the previous user so though we have already sent this access token back to the client but how does the client use this token so for that let's go to our rest client here and here i want to access this route that is the local host port 3000 that is the home route and here we are simply getting back the response that is hello from express so we want to protect this route so that only the authenticated users are able to access this route and this route is defined here in the app.js file let me open the app.js file here itself so this route is this route that is app.get forward slash and we are getting this thing back that is hello from express and we want to protect this route here so how do we do that Firstly, we need to send in the authentication token or the access token that we get back from the server. So how do we provide that access token inside this request? We provide that access token in the request headers and not the request body. And to provide that, we need to write our headers on our own. So the header would contain the authorization header that this authorization header should be present inside each and every request which goes to a protected route and this authorization header should contain the token and the token you do not simply paste the token here but it has a certain format so for that you have to write here first bearer and then you need to provide in the token so let's quickly generate a token here that is we log in as john doe at gmail.com and the password is one two three four so we get back this token here so let me copy this token from here and let me paste it here so we see that in the authorization header that is while we are making a get request to this root route that is the home route we are providing this authorization header with the token here that includes the bearer part also and this is only a convention that you need to provide bearer and then a single space and then the token itself that is the JWT access token. So this is how you should send your request to a protected route. So now let's see that how do we protect this route that is app.js because currently even if we send this thing here we see that we are getting hello from express. So let's see that how do we access this uh, token here that is this authorization token in the app.js file. So here what we can do we can simply log it inside our console. So console.log request.headers and here we want to get the authorization header back. So let's save this thing from here though we are not going to use this request headers inside the inside this route but we are going to use it inside a middleware that will be putting it here. So let's make a request here so that we are sure that we are getting that token inside the authorization header and we see that we are getting this token inside the authorization header from the client. So now to verify this token inside our application what we need to do let's go to this JWT helpers.js file and here I'll create one more function here and that is a middleware that is called verify token or let's call it verify access token. So verify access token like this and since we are going to use this function as a middleware so we can simply pass in request response and next here like this and now if the token is verified we can simply call in next or if the token is invalid or the token has some error then we can simply call next with the error parameter so that this piece of code would be fired. So now let's go to our JWT helper here and now here inside this verify access token what we want to do firstly we want to check if the authorization header is present inside the request. So it is very simple to do so we can simply make a if statement here if request dot headers and this should contain the authorization header and if this authorization header is not present so we should mark it with not if the authorization header is not present inside the request then we can simply return from this function or from this middleware and we can call next and we need to pass in the error here and the error we would pass would be the unauthorized request so we can simply say create error dot unauthorized like this and we do not need to pass here any custom message here that the token is not present because that would be a security issue you should typically not pass that thing here inside the inside this error response here you should simply say that this request is invalid or this request is unauthorized and in case 
the authorization header is present then we can move ahead so we can say const auth header equal to request dot headers and here we need to get this auth header from this authorization header like this so now what we can do we can store this auth header that is this auth header inside an array by using a split on this auth header so that these two parts are splitted into a separate parts so we can use this thing here that is const bearer token equal to auth header dot split and we want to split them by a single space because there is only a single space between bearer and this token here and now we can get the token from this bearer token very easily so const token that is the token that is the actual jwt token that is the actual access token equal to bearer token and we want to get the first value zero would contain bearer and one will contain the actual token so now we have the token here and now what we can do since we already imported this jwt package here that is json web token package here so we can simply use this jwt here so we what we can do we can simply say jwt dot verify and here the first parameter is the token itself which we need to verify so the token would be token and the second parameter would be the secret so we can get the secret from the process dot environment dot access token secret because this is the secret which we provided here inside the environment file here and now the third argument would be a callback and the first argument would be the error and the second argument would be the payload of this callback that is what all is inside the token here so now firstly we need to check if there is an error so if error if there is an error then what we want to do we want to simply return and we can say next create error and we can simply say unauthorized like this because there is an error validating the token and i would come to this error part uh, later on in the video because we need to do something more here but for now let's simply say next create error unauthorized and if there is no error then what we can do we can simply say request dot payload to attach this payload to our request so request dot payload equal to payload like this and then we simply call next here like this and now let's save this applic file here and now what we want to do we want to use this uh, middleware inside our app.js file here because we want to protect this uh, root route here that is the home route here so let me remove this console log statement from here and now we want to require this uh, function or this middleware inside our app.js so what we can do we can require it here like this so const i am using destructuring here so verify access token and from and it should be equal to require not from and this should come from this helpers folder and from this jwt helper file like this and now we can use this middleware inside any of the requests which we want to protect since we want to protect this uh, request here or this route here so we can say verify access token like this as a middleware here and then we can call this thing here so now let me save this application and now let's go to our rest client here and now if we'll make a request here we see that hello from express but now let's suppose we change this token we pass in here that is 3w and now we make a request here then we get 401 unauthorized and now if we remove this token from here then if we also make a request then we are again getting this 401 unauthorized and if we pass in the actual token then we are getting hello from express so now let me show you one thing that is what happens or what error message will you get if the token is expired so for that what i need to do i need to go to this jwt helper file and when we are signing this token here i provide the expires and time as one hour so let me change it to 15 seconds here like this and we are going to create a new token because the older token which we have would have the expiration time of one hour and we have to generate a new token that should have the expiration time of only 15 seconds so let's go to our rest client here so let's click click on login here 
So we get back a refresh token and this token has a val validation of 15 seconds. So let me quickly paste it here. And now let's make a request here and we see we are getting hello from express. So if we keep pressing it, so ultimately we are getting to get unauthorized here because the token has been expired. Okay guys, so that's all about this video and in the next video, let's see that how do we actually handle these error messages because instead of getting this message here that is unauthorized, we want to get back here that is JWT expired so that the client could send again a request to refresh his token. So that's what we are going to do in the next video.